Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sewn. Today we are going to be solving exponential equations when there are exponents on both sides of the equation. Now this can be done two ways, but normally you will have bases such as this 5 and this 25 that you want to make the same. For instance, if we have this scenario right here where we have the 5 and the 25, I would probably want to make them both a 5 because you want to go to a smaller number, not up to a bigger number. And the way you do that is by recognizing that 25 is just 5 squared. And if you rewrite 25 as 5 squared, now the bases are the same. So now we have a scenario which would be a lot easier to deal with because this 5 squared is just 25. We haven't changed anything, but we can distribute the 2, making this 5 to the 2x minus 14 is equal to 5 to the x plus 3. And the 5s would just fizzle away because they're both 5 to what power? So at this point, you can just set x plus 3 equal to 2x minus 14 and continue to solve the problem. We're going to add 14 to both sides or subtract x, and you're just going to solve it like a normal problem where I would personally think subtracting x would be a little easier. You get x minus 14 is equal to 3, and then add 14, and when we add 14 to 3, you get 17 as our final answer for that one. Okay, so they're going to get a little bit harder. We got three total examples today, but the next one would be a, a problem that I would consider a lot of people messing up because there's a 16 and an 8. A lot of people think, oh, I could turn the 16 into an 8, but you can't because 8 to the second power is already 64, so you're not going to be able to turn it, the 16 into an 8. You're also not going to be able to turn both of these into a 4 because 4 squared doesn't equal 8, but, even, but 4 squared does equal 16. What you can do is turn them both into a 2. 2 to the third power is 8. That one's a little easier to see. 2 times 2 makes 8. Two, excuse me, 2 times 2 makes 4, and then another 2 would make 8. 2 to the fourth power is 16. And if you do not know your powers yet, you can kind of guess and check it. It normally only takes like one or two guesses to get it, but you do need to make sure you're accurate with it. And you could type in 2 to the fourth power, 2 to the fourth power to make sure it does in fact equal 16. Distribute the 4, 2 to the 4x plus 12 will equal 2 to the 6x plus 15. Now, because they're both a 2, you just set 4x plus 12 equal to 6x plus 15. Move the 4x over. I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides, subtract 4x from both sides. We get 12 is equal to 2x plus 15. Subtract 15. Subtract 15. Uh, negative 3 would equal 2x. And divide and get x is equal to negative 3 over 2. You do not want to write the decimals for these because the answers are going to be the fraction regardless of what that fraction might be. Next one and the last one. A lot of times you will see a fraction. A fraction is nothing to freak out on these at all. Just think of the 16 and the 64 and think what number could I raise and make the 16 and 64. And you actually have two options in this case. You could make it a 2 or a 4. Okay, I know that 4 squared is 16. Because it's 1 over 16, I just make it a negative 2 power instead of a regular 2 power. So if it's 1 over 16, you just make it a negative 2, and everything else remains the same. Just think of it as a regular 16, and then make it negative 2. x plus 3. 4 to the third power is 64, in case you did not know. And you could guess and make sure that it is afterwards. Distribute both. Distribute. We get 4 to the negative 2x minus 6 is equal to 4 to the 3x plus 3. The 4s diminish and go away. 4s go away. We get negative 2x minus 6 is equal to 3x plus 3. I would add 2x rather than subtracting 3 because I like to keep the x's positive. Negative 6 is equal to 5x plus 3. Subtract 3. Subtract 3. 
negative 9 is equal to 5x, which means that x would equal, we divide by 5, negative 9 over 5. And that's all you got for these. They are not that bad. Do not be intimidated. The only thing that is hard is coming up with what do you need to make them. So don't let that be an influence on how to get it. You just keep trying until you get that winning number that you can make them both equal to, which normally is pretty intuitive, but not that hard to come up with. Until next time, I will see y'all later. Bye.